In this video we're talking about the sine law and the sine law is the one that you use um, when you have a triangle that doesn't have a 90 degree angle in it. If you had a 90 degree angle you could use regular trigonometry and Pythagorean theorem and all that good stuff. So the sine law says that a over sine a equals b over sine c equals c over sine c. And all that really says is that the length of any sort of line segment, oops, that's a terrible drawing, the length of any line segment on your triangle is directly related to the size of the angle that's opposite it. So if this is angle B, the length right here, that will be the length of B. So sine, that's a C, that should be B. We would use B, the length over sine of the angle, and to figure out the relation. So we've got the example. We have a 15 degree angle in here, a 105 degree angle up here, and we know that B equals 210 meters. So you know you're using the sine law as opposed to the cosine law when you have a triangle where you know an angle and the length opposite to it, another angle, and you're asked to find another length. Or you know an angle, the length opposite to it, the length of another side, and are asked to find the angle opposite to that. So hopefully that kind of made sense. It doesn't matter whether I want to say that this angle is A or C because the formula is pretty much the same whatever the variable is. So I'm just going to say it's A and I don't need C. I'm only working in A and B. And this is essentially, you can think of it as cross multiplication if you want, if it makes the algebra easier. So, we know that B is 210 meters and sine, the angle B is 105 degrees. I'm just going to go in my calculator. Sine of 105, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and I get that sine 105 is approximately equal to 0 0.96. I know that A, did I tell you A is what we're solving for? Probably not. A is our unknown, and angle A is 15 degrees. So sine of 15, I'll just type that into my calculator, and I get that's equal to about 0 0.26. So all I need to do is solve for the one unknown in my equation. So you can use cross multiplication if you want. You can go 210 times 0 0.26 equals whatever number, divided by 0 0.96, and that'll equal A, or you can simplify the side of the equation without your variable first, which is what I'm going to show you. So in my calculator, I'm just going to type in 210 divided by 0 0.96, and I get that's equal to 218.75. Okay, so to get A by itself, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 0 0.26. So that's that 0 0.26. We'll cross out that 0 0.6. And I'll get A equals 218.75 times 0 0.26 is equal to 56.875. So all that tells me is that the length of this side on my triangle is approximately equal to 57 meters. 